Mr. Chairman, before we move on, uh, are you going to move on to the next uh, to the radio? Yeah. No, before we move on, I got one more thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's, it's a question for Director Miller. Uh, Director Miller, when, when we did the budget, you said it to us, you know, basically with the increase of the COVID, um, COVID workload that your office is under, some things like that, that one of your biggest fears was something that something was going to get missed. Correct. Uh, now we just added a natural disaster onto your office. In addition to that, working with FEMA, TMA, all of these agencies, and just from the conversations today, it sounds like this is going to be a multi-year uh, workload project. Would that be fair to say? Yep, that's correct. And then, based on kind of your last comments, is um, we're wrapping up there. We're talking about you know the audit finding with the workload. The question I have for you is what what do you need? Actual item do you need from this committee um, in regards of how we can help address that situation? Because it it doesn't sound like it's going to be getting any better for your office and only getting worse. And so I'm going to shut up and let you talk. But what do you need from us to kind of action that? Okay. Um, first of all, we asked for that prior to a presidential declared disaster. I mean, with, with no vision that this was coming. Uh, we still have, have that meeting in our office and uh, uh, for another, another full-time person. Uh, also, if we continue this radio program to the degree we are, the closest county to us is, uh, that, that we look at as far as population and workload uh, is Carter. And they have two EMA and then one that just deals with the radio side of it. In my office, I would if we did that, I would cross train all of those uh, to be available for a response for that 24-7, uh, 365 coverage that we were talking about. Um, in the, I, I've look, looked at this now looking back on this. In the event of a code red um, dam situation, you've got 20 minutes. Whoever answers that phone better be capable of making a decision. That also comes into where you pay those people out on the scale to get the, those quality people that are able to answer that question, to answer that question under fire. Uh, so uh, as far as the way I would pitch that back out, I don't know if we can uh, do that out of order, but I'd pitch the same solution back out there now for the initial one person full, full time. Uh, there's no way I can give up part time money right now. My people that have part time is the only people I've staffed at all. We can't cut my legs out from under me. Uh, if we continue this radio uh, situation and we're get, getting ready to go into, and you'll see, see this, uh, tacking's coming. Uh, within 10 years, uh, I, I feel like we're going to be on this impact area. There are only a few counties that were on TAC, and I think that'll even push it more. Uh, we, we, I'll keep that report for later, but just keep that in mind when we're talking about this. But uh, we initially asked for one, but if we, especially if we continue the radio situation, uh, I could justify two full time. Uh, how the radio system held during this, I didn't bring it up because we were we were able to fix it. We were able to fix it under fire. Uh, not not too big an issue. We lost Short Mountain during that. If I'm in the EOC making these decisions, obviously can't be on Short Mountain at the same time. It was a power interruption. Uh, all it took for the other two sites to go down was the power to flicker and we had trees fall left and right. Thank goodness Bay Mountain and Town Knob did not lose power. If that had happened, I would have had, had three people on all three mountaintops to get that system back up. <clears throat> so we were, we were very fortunate there. Something we have discovered post-disaster. There's $6,000 in the budget typically that I go to in a disaster for initial equipment. Uh, we went to that money this time uh, for handheld GPSs because we were in areas with no pavement and we needed to know if we had to find a way out when we needed some handheld GPSs. When I went to that, I, I discovered that our funding was cut $900 in that line this year uh, because it hit in line 499. Uh, I had no idea that was like that until we found it. We didn't have a negative impact from that, but that tells you the workload in my office. I hadn't even noticed in the budget that that, that line had been cut. Uh, we just had the time to look at it. I'll take any questions anybody's got for that. Well, as, far as, as far as the funding, I'm sorry. As far as the funding, I mean, none of us could have guessed that we'd be having a hurricane. No. Literally, I mean, we didn't have hurricane warning. We probably should have had hurricane warnings up here. Yeah. But given the sheer magnitude of the storm. There's no way we can prepare for that. I, I don't like cutting funding to emergency services. Yeah. I think that's just, you know, a situation like this, it's just waiting to happen. Mm -hmm. um, I think we can do a better job at 
next budget season, um, making sure that doesn't happen. <clears throat> we need what the, need to be left in there. Um, what, what happened on that particular funding? I didn't realize it, it had been an object line seven ninety, which did not get cut. It had been moved in that budget to object line four ninety nine, and I just didn't catch it. Um, I guess as far as the personnel, does anybody on this committee want to take action? Make a motion to about to refer to the budget committee. So the question I have, I guess I don't know if Jason or, or Robbie would be the best to answer this, or y'all pitch in. So these ten personnel we're needing at the highway department. I'm sure he's needing now. Uh, we have these opportunities. I'm going to say opportunities. We have this potential funding that we're not even able to really process correctly. Uh, so some of this we need done as rapidly as possible if we're going to make a decision. I'm not trying to rush anybody into a decision or anything like that, but. Our workload is is now. So um, yesterday uh, I come in eight thirty. I think uh, when I come in left about six. Went home, took care of some things at home. Clocked back in for an hour on the computer, doing this radio stuff. Uh, was at a uh, evacuation of a apartment complex last night for two hours. That, that's the thing we also have to remember our normal workload is still continuing. Our citizens have to be protected and needs addressed in our normal workload as well that's completely been abandoned for the last, since impact, well, since before impact. Jason, I don't know, <coughs> do we need a recommendation from this committee for where the need to go to personnel and then to the budget? Or? I mean, the, the, the committee as a consulting committee can can make any recommendation they, they want to. Um, and then if if you want to do that, um, you would probably need to go through personnel also, but that doesn't mean it necessarily has to. Yeah. Um, it, it could come from this committee and go directly to budget, I would, I would think. Um, but, but let us be mindful too, and, and Mr. Chairman, I'm probably gonna deviate a little, but I won't much. Um, you know, we have needs in this county that reared their ugly head as a result of a disaster. As you said, Mr. Chairman, we could not have seen this storm coming. During budget season, however, um, it, it seems that, that we, we know that we have needs that are there, and, and it's kind of like we hold our breath hoping that disasters don't happen. And we, we you know, as a budget chair, I will never leave the committee to spend money that they're not willing to either cut from one place or generate revenue in another. We have to get our head together to understand that if we are going to allocate money, we have to find out where that money's coming from. And um, while no one wanted to vote for the tax increase, there's not one single one of us that voted for that tax, that property tax increase this year that was jumping at the, you know, jumping up and down to make it happen because we were happy about it. It was because we knew that we needed to be able to fund our budget. So if, if we're having to adjust revenues, which is not even part of the conversation right now, we're not in budget season anymore, but if we're having to adjust revenues or we're having to find money in other places, which I'm, I'm open to, to creative solutions on where to find money in the budget somewhere to fund positions, because I'm, I'm hearing that there's other positions that need to be added because people are drowning. Please understand that we have to think about the disasters that may come and plan for that on the front end and figure out a way to spend money that we have as opposed to spending money that we don't have. Please do not spend money that you're not willing to fund on the back end. That's 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 my request. And I and Mr. Uh, Director Miller knows that when he asked for this position uh, during budget season, I did not vote in favor of it, not because I didn't believe that he needed it, but because I believed that the commission would not find a way to fund it. Needs were there. Director Miller, I, I understand the, the work that you put in. I know how much comp time you do. I know that you're overwhelmed. The problem is, is I didn't believe that we had a commission that would be willing to fund the needs of the county, so we had to triage. That's what. That's where we are. Uh, and you know, uh, Mr. Chairman, I, I'm going to shut my mouth before I say too much. But at the end of the day, we have needs in the county that we continue to nitpick and, and, and cut budget and cut line items and decrease certain things and now disasters happen and, and all along we knew it was going to happen 
we just chose to, I'm going to use that phrase, kick that can. Uh, so, so as, as you know, I ain't going to say I told y'all so. Uh, and Dirk Miller ain't going to either. But, but the fact is, is that uh, we, we got by uh, skating through just generating enough revenue to make our county operate. Now it's actually came and we're, we're having to try to fix that. So uh, that's my piece on that. And yes, if we want to make a recommendation to study adding a position to uh, EMA, uh, you can do that here and we can take it up in the budget committee. Of course, it won't be heard unless it's an out of order resolution for the October meeting. It won't be heard in the October meeting unless we run it as an out of order resolution. Well, that's what I want to know. Would, would have a budget. I know we got to reorganize the budget committee, but as budget chair from last year, it didn't really matter which committee it came out of. It no, it does. Because it, it, yeah. it's a consult. Your, your committees are nothing more than a recommendation anyway. The, the final decisions are made by the full commission. So I, unless it gets referred from budget over personnel, I think you probably can trust that. What would, does anybody, does this committee want to take action on Director Miller's request right now? Or I make a motion that we send it to the budget committee for consideration. I don't stop with that. Got a second. We got a motion by, by Commissioner Gibson, second by Commissioner Kern. All favor. Open for discussion. I respectfully ask that we send that out of order. And the reason being is I know that needs mail. In in thirty in well, thirty plus days. We're gonna make forty five days post disaster. Plus, I'm going to have the problem of trying to spool this person up to get them any training at all on, on what is going on with some of this money, plus adoring it myself. Can you remind me of what the cost for that would be? I know you gave us it, it was Space Scale 10 to start with. We'd have to get with Eric on that, but uh, mine's an 11. But I, I just want to throw that out there because I know we're going to pass up opportunities if, if we don't have anything at all and we. I can't guarantee you anything with with the help, but that's where we're at. I give you the, the split of the figures on what it looks like coming down the pipe, but I don't know how that's going to work. <laughs> but you can have that ready for Monday. No, no way. The well, state, you know, the highway the, department in on that request. The, the so state, we need to be on the ground. The, the state doesn't have that ready as well. I mean, it's not even, uh, the state doesn't have exactly all the terms of that. Down yet. Mr. Miller, if you could hire somebody immediately, mm -hmm. could you find someone that's trained to be able to, to do the work that you say you have to do now? If, if we pay them correctly. Okay. We have to, we've got to get the pay to where I can harvest from somewhere else. That was one employee, director. Correct. Uh, I, I can do with, with one employee if we, but we're going to have to address this radio thing at some point if we continue that. The way some counties do that, they do that with a split with a uh, sheriff's office employee. They sign a sheriff's office employee to EMA to take care of the radios. That's done like that in Blount County. Then they do a 50 50 payment for that employee. That employee in Blount is a data person. He takes, he takes care of a lot of routers and radios and stuff like that. So there is options we can do on that radio side. Would this new position require a uh, vehicle also? Uh, we have a uh, uh, we we have another pickup that's in, in good shape that we've just purchased. Uh, I think I'm going to be able to upfit it for cheaper than what I initially thought. So that's going to give us the ability to move that money over for another used vehicle if we choose to do so. I think I can absorb that in my budget again if we get, decide to replace the fourth vehicle. Obviously, obviously, if we hire somebody, they've got to have a, a, a dependable uh, vehicle, but we, we have that now. But we will need to, that'll cause the need to replace the fourth vehicle, which I think I can do through grant funding and absorb in my budget, which is how we did this vehicle. I was say, if we send this recommendation on the budget committee, is that something that then we, we could consider discussing it on Monday and decide at that point if we're going to do it as out of order or how we might proceed with it? Yes, we, we could. We could add just a new business on Monday. Yes, sir, we could. We, we could send it as long as we, um, as long as someone makes a motion to suspend the rules and it passes by a simple majority, it can be heard. Um, 
assuming that it will pass uh, motion to suspend rules. So yes, and um, so, yeah, so that that's how that would work. I'm, I'm not attempting to put this committee in a bad position at all, but I'm in a bad position. Uh, just with where we're at and knowing what's going to be processed. That's, that's why I'm asking for it to can be processed as quickly as possible. Can we include uh, road superintendents also in this one at the same time? That's yes, we can. It probably needs to be a second motion. But so I think let's dispose of this motion and then if you want to make that. I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman. That, that'd be no, right. that, that's what I do want to say. So we've already got this motion on the board. I would we settle in, we can, you can we put your name on that other motion to include the highway department's request. Should be able just to amend it. Hey, if you want to amend it, we can amend it. That's what I'd like to do. Right, do I have a second to the amendment? To include the road superintendent's request. I'll second that. And second by Commissioner Fox. So the motion now on the floor as amended would be to send commit Director Miller's request for a full-time personnel to the Budget Committee along with um, Director Jones's request for 10 temporary personnel. And that 10 personnel that we discussed, I'm sorry to kind of get this off chance, that was what would be reimbursed at 100%? Is that correct? For 30 days or something, there's some time stipulations on that? Well, okay. If I have those 10 people for two months, I'm hoping I can get the majority of them cleaned up. Okay. And um, on that amendment, it, it probably when it goes before the budget committee because you're talking about one full-time position on a pay scale compared to 10 temporary positions so we may end up splitting it anyway but we can do that on the budget committee. Yeah. Um, Commissioner Collins, were you the second on that? I did. Okay. Um, and the, re the reimbursements, you can't put that in pain. That could be two years to five years down the road before it comes back to the county. Right. And if all the paperwork's in order and, and everything works as it should, it should be reimbursed 100 percent. I think for the budget committee, make sure both of your all departments have an act a number that you're going to be requesting when it comes to budget committee meeting Monday. Um, as far as monetary, as yeah. far as money, okay. Yeah. So. Any further discussion on the amendment? All right, so I'm voting on the amendment now. Miss um, Davis, will you call roll on the Sure. Tom Kern? Yes. Danny Alvis? Yes. John Gibson? Yes. Chad Britton? Yes. Jason Roach? Yes. Robbie Palmer? Yes. And Larry Collins? Yes. Seven yes, motion carries. All right, now we're back to the uh, motion as amended to, by Commissioner Gibson to send Director Miller to and Commissioner, or Director Jones's request for the personnel one full time to EMA and ten temporary to the road department to the budget committee. Any further discussion on that motion? Question about that. Yeah. Let me speak a minute on that, please. I teach with the rescue college for Tennessee Association of Rescue Squads. I travel all over this state. I travel to about <coughs> any state that touches this state. And I see in a lot of counties where their EMAs have their proper staffing that they actually help out that county by getting grant funding for all their volunteer and other organizations. If we don't fulfill this position as a taxpayer, we're going to miss out on losing hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars down the road. Because this will require, as Jamie said, a full-time person to do this. And that's going to be what their dedication is going to be. And I think when Commissioner Roach spoke about the way to pay for it, sometimes you got to bite the bullet a little bit and get spend a little bit up front to gain all this extra on the end. And I think this will help our county and our citizens of this county in the long future. And it will help ease some of that funding problems that the county commission faces. We may not see it right off the bat, but we will eventually see the, the progress and the help that this gets to us. Thank you. You said, you said one or two for the game. There's one. Oh. Commissioner, I would just call for a question. 
Um, we'll go ahead and vote on this motion. Uh, Ms. Davis, will you call roll? Robbie Palmer? Yes. Chad Britton? Yes. Larry Clark? Yes. Danny Alvin? Yes. John Gibson? Yes. Tom Kern? Yes. And Jason Rose? Yes. Seven yes, motion carried.